I worry, okay? I worry. This is my job. <laughs> Sorry. That's what they always do to you. Um, so what I do at CBS News is I worry. That's really my job. And, um, you know, I, I try to think about terrible things that can happen and uh, try to prepare for them and graphically uh, present information uh, to do that. So last time, last time we were here, I showed you a couple of fun little things we were working on. And um, I am, again, uh, trying to show you how graphically things are changing in a really remarkable and exciting way. Um, and I'm always thinking, what could possibly go wrong and figuring out ways to illustrate that. Now, you know, at CBS we've got every models of planes, of ships, of bombs, of things that you could use. But you've seen all those things on television already. So what I'm going to try to do is, is take you to what I think is the next most fascinating way that information is finally um, being uh, uh, um, delivered to us all. And, and that is uh, showing you how, g how we're going to be able to use the Earth um, as, uh, as a, um, a tablet uh, and we can fly into the Earth and do some remarkable things. Can we bring up... Uh, so last time we were here, uh, I brought you uh, the preliminary version of this thing. This was called Earth Viewer. A bunch of friends uh, at Keyhole uh, created it. And it's moved uh, considerably forward and now it's available for folks. Um, and so I'm flying into Monterey and uh, that's where we are uh, at this moment. I put a little biohazard thing there, <laughs> you know. And I guess for my biohazard issues, you know, I, obviously I'm a little overdressed uh, for this place and I probably don't need my radiation detector here. Uh, I've decided to take the authorities at their word. <laughs> <laughs> and this is all I really need. But anyway, uh, sorry about this. Um, so what we're going to do is go from Ted where we were the last time, where I showed you this, and just to give you a little rich sense of where you see that you can see the mountains in the background and fly over and turn on the Chinese restaurants and all kinds of fun stuff. But I did that before, so I'm not going to do that again. But what I would like to do is take you to Iraq a place we're thinking an awful lot about. Uh, Iraq. Lights, lights please. Oh. Um, and what's extraordinary about this is um, the CIA and the rest of those nice folks spend about $40 billion a year trying to find out what's going on in different areas and to varying successes. Uh, I'm not big on uh, how successful they've been recently. Um, and just imagine trying to find things in Baghdad where there really haven't been any good maps done of Baghdad since 1992. This is the Republican Palace, and this is Saddam's diving board. I, I really dig this, you know? And, 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 and here, let me show you the whole palace. It's kind of fun, you know? And, I mean, because you really don't know about, I mean, you hear about his lifestyle, but, you know, you don't really know what it's like to be Saddam, you know? And, then, and now, you know, you, got, you have one over there, and if you're one of his many um, friends and admirers, you, you, you can use the other one with the kiddie pool, which I'm going to show you over here. I kind of <laughs> like this one. This one's, this is another, they've got two diving boards, and you can see, now this is from 200 miles in space. Um, much better than the last time I showed you stuff. This is commercial remote sensing satellite imagery. And this isn't some government uh, satellite. In fact, the government is uh, content to uh, allow us to use this. And there's always the threat that they could shut down this stuff, but the companies that make this will go out of business, so they're not likely to do it. This is the Sajud Palace. So I'm just showing you that, that you know, uh, many of my colleagues in the industry are trying to figure out where things are. The, Iraqi uh, Air, uh, Air Force, the intelligence headquarters, and these wonderful things here. And, um, and we're getting to fly them around and, uh, and learn about them uh, and use it to share information. And this isn't just something I can do. This is now something you can do. Um, and that's really remarkable. So I'm going to shut this down for a second and bring up, um, bring up another improvement on that. Because I did give you a taste of that, I think, a year ago, I just showed you a little bit. I didn't show you Baghdad, but let me, let's hope this launches. 
the rest of this stuff is pretty much alpha software, so we'll, we'll hope that everything works okay. Um, what I'm going to show you now is Baghdad again. It's coming in here, and let's see if it doesn't mind me opening it up. Okay, what, what I'm going to show you now is um, from a company named Harris Corporation. And uh, this is the same downtown Baghdad scene built with similar imagery. It's cool. It's running on my own little dinky PC here. And this is three-dimensional Baghdad. So, for example, I took you into one of his palaces. Let me take you into another one. And right over here, I don't know if you can see this. Well, I'm going to make you see it, I guess. It's great to be king because, um, you know, or, or the boss, because, you know, you have your palace here and identical houses for all his top guys are over here and over here. And I guess this is our before stuff, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, that's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, I guess, well, since, it's, since it is before stuff, let, let, me, let me give you a sense of some of the other things that we're looking at. And it's kind of cool that it's dropping in and out. That's great. Don't mind, don't mind the small uh, foolishnesses here. Let me just show you um, why I think it's such a tef, tough job to be a weapons inspector. Because this is kind of, this is also imagery that now you guys can get, and imagery that we're getting. And this is a big image. I'm taking a look now at Al-Taji. Al-Taji is a, um, uh, let's see if it sees it here. Hold on a second. Yeah, there you go. Okay, well, I, I've changed my mind. The computer's working for me. Stop that. Stop that. Thank you. I wish this was a Mac, but they don't do <laughs> this. I changed my mind. I'll, I'll do it in reverse order. I, I'm going to take you to an airport. This is called H3. And so I'm looking around at H3. This is an airport in the east. And I notice something strange. And can anyone tell me what's wrong with this runway? <laughs> now, either these guys are really bad pilots, you know, or, or, or they're, they're doing something to make it a little difficult for us to land there. And so this is a recent picture that we obtained. And, uh, and up and down this runway, they have put another plane, another thing, the hangars, the, they, they're pulling off things off the uh, baggage carousel type stuff. They're, they're, they're not, they're really, you know, they're really not interested in us doing a landing job here. Um, so we, normal folks can now just pick up the computer and open up some high resolution imagery and, uh, and see it. Now, let me take you to Al-Taji again, which I was trying to do in the first place. This is a very big place. This is one of many Republican guard barracks. And, you know, something I fear. So I wanted to see, okay, you got a hundred weapons inspectors there. What, what would they look for? Okay, so I just picked a small little area. Let's pick this little, small little area. And, you know, it's... Now, I may have to explain this a little bit because you may not be able to figure out what this is because it is a little hard to tell. But, you see these things here? This is a hardened bunker, and, a, uh, and these are revetments around it. So if you wanted to hit that, that's it's something that's really valuable. You, you, you don't go through all the trouble of doing that if it isn't valuable. And they've got hundreds of these things on this place here, you know, and I can keep showing you variants on a theme. And, and I hired a guy. Now, I guess most people can't do this. I hired two former weapons inspectors, okay? So they visited a lot of these places, and they told me, you know, um, that uh, when, until they were thrown out, that this is, these are places where Iraq declared they held um, uh, uh, anthrax and other um, weapons, uh, which they say they've, gotten rid of, and, and I, hell, I would trust them because, you know, they've always been so honest. Anyway, so I'm showing you um, uh, uh, some of the stuff that, that, that I'm looking at and stuff that I'm fearing. Um, 
I have another program on here, and, and if, I, if I'm lucky, no, you cut me down on time, so I, don't, I can't show that. Uh, it's a program called CATS, the Catastrophic Area Toolset. Looks like a you know, real party pleaser, you know. Uh, <laughs> but but my, my buddy here, John Calkins of Esri, who's been kind enough to come by, has shown us um, the next variant. What, what CATS does and, and what John is working on um, is figuring out a way to show um, uh, this is an alpha software thing that's called Arc Globe, and, and he's showing um, how we can visualize and analyze geographic information in significant ways. Um, and he wants to, they're trying to democratize that. So John, uh, we, we picked the DC capital, go ahead. Can you switch the, uh, the thing to, yeah. So uh, we decided to see what happened, and they did a very careful analysis of the chemical plume of buoyant gas, sort of like chlorine. What would happen if that went into the, you know, capital? And what's amazing is the same 3D models I showed you earlier of Baghdad, that kind of thing. Now here, John, in the program, he's writing right now, and, and he can't even give it to me in beta yet because it's so fresh on his machine. But you see the nice uh, yellow areas? Well, that's the densest concentration, and the purple areas are the least dense concentration. And they use the three-dimensional models to help determine the flow and the airflow um, of these things. Um, and now we're going to move over to the, we, we, we just for yucks, released uh, another uh, chemical plume right over the National Archives. And what's interesting and forward thinking about what John is doing is now we can overlay significant data, like uh, the metro lines, for example, those lines in there, and the train station, the metro stations, and uh, a whole kind of world of information overlaying on top of this. So for fearful people who want to try to get a sense of controlling what is going on. These are kind of interesting things. Let me just uh, uh, show you um, some other stuff. We'll move to the population density of the Earth, and this is kind of extraordinary. I worry about this, and I'm sure everybody uh, gets a chance to worry about this too, um, population density. Here you can see very graphically uh, the areas of the Earth where you see there's not much uh, population density in the Sahara, obviously, and as you get closer to uh, China, you can see those nice red areas of uh, what's the densest color there, John? But red. So you can see that some areas are quite. Let's go into uh, Korean Peninsula there and see something. So this is the population density of North Korea and South Korea. Stop it right there. And now here's kind of interesting. Um, the Defense Department flies satellite around the Earth and, and they take pictures of the Earth. And one of the pictures they take at night. This is the satellite picture of the entire Earth at night, and we're just now looking at North Korea versus South Korea. And you'll see, you know, I, maybe, I, maybe I need to come over there to show you. <laughs> Dark, like, population far denser on the uh, north area there. But, but, uh, so you can see that this kind of material gives you an incredible power. Can you show the whole Earth? Because I think that people should see this. And, and take, them, take them to the Nile, because I think this, before you do this, before you do this. I just love this. Just spin it around with, the, with night lights, night lights, night lights. Wow. Isn't that cool? Wow. <laughs> that's the, and, and if you change it to population density, that's the, night, the earth at night and the population along the Nile. So it's nice that they get electricity out of the Aswan Dam project. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, so put the clouds on, put our clouds on, and we're, gonna, we're just going to conclude with the notion uh, that I, I, I think the cure for fear is, is preparation and information, and I, I really think that that cure is a whole lot better than my mask here, and certainly better than duct tape. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot.